Hey everyone, this is Emo Arbiter. I just wanted to post a quick video on the new Mad Monster Mansion early setup that Ringrush found. I estimate the setup saves about a minute over the original setup that 8-Bit Beast found. I personally find it a bit easier, but your mileage may vary. I just wanted to make not a full-blown tutorial, but kind of just a quick explanation of the cues I looked for to translate Ringrush's task of the setup into kind of an RTA setup. And I'll link Ringrush's task below in case you want to look at coordinates to be able to check your steps midway through and all that. And I'll also link 8-Bit's tutorial that goes a lot more in-depth into some of the tech used here. So let's get right into it. So the first thing, as always, you're going to wait for the Jiggy transition to complete. You're going to go into Talent Trot and buffer and up press during the animation so that you start moving forward immediately. Just hold forward this whole time. So right here, what I like to look for is that there's this kind of U-shaped thing between the lines here, like a U on its side but not quite a C. Um, I look for the back line and I look for Kazooie's feet to be kind of together, almost like she's standing. You don't want one foot to be in front of the other. You don't want her to look like she's walking. It almost looks like she's just standing there. Um, so this is the right frame to pause. You're gonna let go of everything. You're gonna let go of your stick. You're gonna let go of Z. You're gonna leave Talon Trot in a completely neutral position. Wait for Banjo to look to his right. I wait a little longer than you need to. Uh, you're gonna crouch and look straight to the right. This one you have to wait a lot longer before doing anything. So the camera's doing a lot of micro adjustments here. And I like to wait through Banjo's entire idle animation of the crouch. So he's going to look to his right, to his left, and then back down. Once Banjo's looking straight back down, then you can initiate the backflip here. For the backflip, you're going to press A to start it, and then you're going to hold left on the stick. And then you're going to let go of left as soon as you land. And those are both larger than 10 frame windows, so you have over a third of a second. Ringers didn't specify an exact number, but they're huge windows. The backflip is really, really easy, so don't don't stress about it. So again, you're going to wait a really long time for the camera. I wait, again, Banjo's entire idle animation. I even wait for him to look to the right a second time sometimes. You're going to crouch, just jam your joystick down, uh, look straight at the camera. That's going to set up your first angle. Do a punch cancel you're going to do a twirly whirly. So I missed the first one here. So what I like to look for to time this pause, you see these three little points, I don't know what these things are called, on uh, Grunty's Lair, or on the doorway to Grunty's Lair, I look for the left one to start going off screen. That's roughly when I know to start timing the pause. And then I hit it here, so you can see the left pointy thing is just barely still on screen, but the cue I prefer here is the Jinjo's ears. You can see the left ear is kind of in the middle of the tombstone, and the right one is intersecting with the right edge. This is how you know you got the right frame. So you're going to let go of your stick, leave first person. I wait out the granny text for whatever reason. You can do a punch cancel, and you're going to do another twirly whirly. So I miss it here, but what I like to look for for trying to time it, I'm one frame late here, is I look for this gravestone to be slightly left of center. There's not a whole lot to go off for, for this one, so this is the best cue I could come up with. So I miss it here, so you're going to see me do it again. So you're going to see the gravestone come into view, and it's almost centered. I look for the egg to be kind of parallel to the little post here, kind of this line. Um, you can look at the purple Jinjo's chin too. There's not really a ton to go off here, but this, this is what you should be looking for, for the correct angle for your second twirly. So again, let go of the stick, do another punch cancel. This time you're going to do a twirly to the left. So what I look for here is for the middle pointy guy to almost be off screen. So just like the first one, except you're looking for the middle one to be off screen this time. Just about. So I get this one. This one also doesn't have a whole lot to go off. Um, the best thing I could come up with is look for the gold feather to be kind of floating above this post here. You can also see that the middle kind of pointy thing is still just barely on screen. This is really the best I had, um, but that's gonna. this is what the correct third twirly should look like. So you're going to let go, do another punch cancel, and then one more twirly to the left. So this is the hardest one in my opinion. I missed this one by a lot. I think I'm two frames early there. So what I look for is I look for this gravestone here to be almost halfway between the middle of the screen and the right edge of the screen. So I'm two frames late there. And then an easy cue for this one is you just look for the two, you look for the gold feather and the red feather here to be intersected, and that's when you know you have this one correct. 
so let go, and then you're going to do three punch cancels. So that's two, this one missed, and this is the third one, and you're just going to do a beak bust and jump in. That's the new setup, so if we were to go back and watch it uninterrupted. So get in Talon Trot, buffer forward. Stop right on that line with Kazooie's feet together. Wait for Banjo to stop. Crouch, look all the way to the right. Wait out Banjo's entire idle animation. Do a backflip, let go of left on landing. Wait for a whole idle animation. Crouch down, do a punch cancel. Do your first twirly, look for the left, left uh, pointy thing to disappear. Look at the Jinjo's ears. Do a punch cancel, do another twirly. Look for the egg to line up with the post and look for the gravestone to be kind of slightly left of center. Do another punch cancel. Do a twirly to the left. Look for the middle pointy thing to disappear. Look for the gold feather above the post. Do another punch cancel, and then one last twirly to the left. Look for that gravestone to be about halfway between the middle of the screen and the right of the screen. Look for the feathers to intersect and then do three punch cancels. Remember that I miss one here. And ground pound in. And that's the newer setup. Uh, Ring Rush says it's harder. I personally think it's actually easier than the other one, and it's a lot faster, so hopefully this helps some of you guys.